Welcome back to my channel. My name is Prue or Prue LaRue via all my socials and today I thought I would do a little of all the things I've bought in the last two weeks. Here yeah, and I've changed my lip to clear coral. I I couldn't even stand five minutes in the Anastasia lips. They, they need to go. So the first thing is uh, the Tony Molly lips. There's a bit of a story behind these. So I saw Kat from Beauty News and like her Kitch Stitch channel talking about the Tony Molly lips. I watched her review on them, it sounded amazing. I really wanted them. And then I saw them get their PR from the Yes Style website. So I was like, yeah, bug it. Let's try a whole heap of shit from K Beauty. The thing I didn't realize about Yes Style is that they actually don't stock stuff, well, they only stock certain stuff in the thing. And when I ordered, I was on night shift, so I was half asleep. So when you're on there, you can see if it's in stock or how long they expect the stock to be, and that can give you an estimate of how long until delivery. And if you went just by things that were in stock, you probably wouldn't get everything that you wanted. So I ordered on the 3rd of July, on the night, um, and then I didn't do anything. And I just waited. On the 19th of July, they contacted me and said that the lip tint is taking longer than expected to come. And the 20, and I could reply back and have it removed from my order and they would send what they have. And on the 20th, they sent my order and sent the refund and it was all very quick and easy. And it was delivered on the 30th. So in total, it took pretty much a whole month, uh, which was a bit annoying and disappointing. But once I read like the FAQs, I was like, oh, this is my fault for not reading about this more. And yeah. So I bought my lip tints from Maya. They were having a special. I'm not sure how much they were. I know my little kits like this were $12. I will try and post swatches or like at least tag it properly if I post on Instagram because I couldn't find any like normal swatches but these products could be hard to find as well. So I got this cute little kit here. Um, I'm wearing this one here, the clear coral. So it just comes like this and then you pop it off and it's a little one like this. It doesn't say the shade on it. I don't think it does. No, it probably does in Korean. I can't read Korean. And it's just quite quaint and cute. So, more. I did quite enjoy minis for my lip products because I don't tend to use them that quickly. And then I'm keeping on to the packaging just so I know what the colours are currently. Also, I'm a bit of a package hoarder. I also picked this one up. This was $12. Okay. And I got these ones. The Lip Tone Get It Tint. And the sand deal. This weird thing is just to hold them in it. And then I got Coral Ming and Cartoon Carol. Coral? Coral. And yeah, just a bigger version. I think these cost more, but they were still on special. So far, I like them. They're nice. I nice swatch them on my hand. They stayed on for a lot longer. And I don't think they have the staying power that they did on Kat from what she looked at. Tried Cartoon Carol. And that faded off me in about four hours, I'd say. But the other things I did buy from Yesstar came in this squidged little package. I got the Laneige. Laneige? Yeah, that's in right. Sleeping mask. And I read a few of the reviews and people saying that you're meant to like spatula it on overnight and then it. Sorry, it comes with this cute little spatula. How adorable. And then in the morning you can scrub it off uh, all the dead skin. I find this is just an extremely moisturizing lip balm for me and it's probably the best one I've ever tried in my life. And it stays on, you can feel it for about two hours I'd say for me. And then my lips are very moist, well like, not moist but hydrated. And so it's quite, quite nice, I really like it. I also picked up some snail repair eye cream solely because I needed some eye cream and I saw this on sale. I just realized this is Maison brand. I think Maker have just removed them from their stuff. I also picked up those hydrocolloid dressings for pimples. I've used these. What you do is you put them on top of the pimple and then let it sit for like a long time. I did it, I went to sleep with them and then when you woke up like the all the pus is brought to the head and you can you know, obviously like 
burst it. I had a really bad breakout of pimples around here. Uh, so I tried these for them. I used them and was like, oh, I see the point. I don't think it's worth, I think it only cost me five bucks. I don't think it's worth it. Because I found, I just used some tea tree and witch hazel toner. And that completely just dried them out, healed them in like three days. Instead of fucking around with this. They also sent me face mask. I'm just not that, I'm like, why does it have bee venom? I don't know. I will try it at some point, but I'm not the biggest fan of face masks. I also picked up some lovely candles. So, I went to get a present for someone and I picked up the glass house in Casablanca. And that is burning right here. And this candle just smells amazing. It is a velvet musk and bergamot. I am loving this scent. I've had it burning most of the day. Peter Alexander have a special at the moment where you buy two and you get a little small one for free. I got this one, um, I chose this one as small just because it's a bit more of a manly scent. I think I wasn't sure if it was more like a cologne smell. So I thought I'll just get this in small for now. I also got my Inglots and got their number one recommended product. I'm really looking forward to trying this and seeing what I think. And uh, also, oh, I picked this up the other day. The Dermalogica Clear Start Blackhead Fizzing Mask. I really love a lot of Dermalogica products. I don't love this. I, I don't see how a fizzing mask cleans your face. I did look it up and it said the bubbles create extra oxygen and it brings the blackheads to surface or some crap. And I just, I, I don't feel like that cleans my face. I also had absolutely no plans at all of picking anything up from this range. The Sol de Janeiro. If you go in, like just smell some of this stuff. It smells amazing. We have been missing out in Australia for so long. I couldn't even wait. I've already showered with this. And it just leaves you feeling, smelling fresh for the rest of the day. And it is lovely. Uh, I think it was like $36 or something ridiculous. But this smells amazing. I love a good shower gel. Like, go in, smell it. The lip balm smells amazing. This is just, thank you Mecca for stocking something really cool and lovely smelling. I've been using a lot of the Soap and Glory products, but they're great, but the scents aren't very strong. And this scent is just, oh, mm, you need to go smell it. I also picked up the Hourglass Scattered Light in Aura. I've got an order from Sydney Grace Co coming once they start packing all their stuff up from after their sale. And hopefully I'll get that whenever. I saw an Instagram post today that they're still doing their thing. But I picked up the pinky one. I've got a cream shadow coming from them, I think, so I didn't want to do this. It's got this adorable little stopper. And voila. It did have a little dent in the top but I've, I've already worn it out just because I'm wearing it right now. Uh, this seems really nice I'm looking forward to. This is like something I would think that maybe I could pull off just for work and just dab 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 and and hopefully it lasts a bit. I'm just curious. I haven't tried any cream shadows and I, I don't know. Something about the hourglass stuff just was calling my name. So that's my mini haul. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment, subscribe, whatever you feel like. Thank you.